Welcome to Engineering Update, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. I'm Melissa Barnes, Associate Editor of ECN. In this week's headlines, the world's smallest autopilot, Surgeon streams operation via Google Glass, and Sony's head-mounted video viewer. Sony has announced the next generation of its head-mounted personal 3D video viewer just in time for IFA 2013. The HMZ T3 will boast a greater image quality than its predecessors, as well as a slightly lighter headset with improved audio and a more comfortable fit. The HMZ T3W features 1280 by 720 resolution OLED panels with a viewing experience equivalent to watching a 62 and a half foot screen from 66 feet away. Sony's virtual surround technology offers accurate sound placement in an immersive 360 soundstage. A 32-bit DAC delivers 7.1 channel audio through supplied earphones with a frequency response of 4 Hz to 27 kHz. Users can now reduce the image size down to a low of 70% and a 2D image can be displayed with a slight virtual curve for a movie theater feel. Gamers can even take advantage of four image adjustment modes to increase visibility in darker areas of the screen during a game. The TU Delft Faculty of Aerospace Engineering has created the world's smallest drone autopilot. The team is working on creating pocket-sized micro-aerial vehicles with a system called the Lisa S. It weighs just 0.07 ounces with a footprint of 0.8 by 0.8 inches. In order to accommodate such a small board, the creators had to write software from scratch. They used the radio receiver data link technology known as Superbit RF, an open source paparazzi software. The smaller autopilot allows an MAV to stay in the air longer and carry higher quality cameras or sensors. The team plans on continuing to make the type of UAV more accessible to the public, as well as efficient for search and rescue purposes. A surgeon at The Ohio State University recently performed knee surgery while streaming live video footage via Google Glass. Doctors Nabil and Kading demonstrated how wearable computing devices could change the way operations are performed. Dr. Kading performed a routine knee ligament surgery while wearing glass, which enabled him to stream live video to colleagues who were able to consult in real time. Meanwhile, medical students at Ohio State also watched the surgery on their laptops. Aside from enhancing medical education, Google Glass could be used to spread time-critical medical expertise in areas that are hard to reach. Inside the operating room, it could even allow surgeons to order x-rays or MRI images of their patients in real time, or consult with relevant specialists remotely and immediately. That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, or email me your stories. I'm Melissa Barnes, and this has been your Engineering Update.